My name is Beth Fisher and I'm a sports reporter for ITV Cymru Wales News. Like any little girl who was sporty, that my, uh, my dream was to represent Wales. I wish it had been rugby because that was my true kind of love, to, you know, growing up. But unfortunately, there was nowhere for girls to play rugby. So naturally, in school, played hockey. That's the most incredible experience representing my country like 44 times. I've never taken for granted the kind of privilege of wearing the three feathers on your shirt and being able to sing the national anthem. Being a gay woman, I understand what it's like to be kind of unrepresented. You know, I couldn't think of anything worse than seeing someone suffering because no one's had the guts to put their head above the parapet and, and kind of be the voice with them, support them. I'm not here to make friends, I'm here to make change. And ultimately, if I don't do it, if I'm not a voice for people who are unrepresented, then who's going to do it? I'm very privileged to be on TV and have a platform. If I'm just there helping one little girl or little boy be more comfortable with their sexuality, it's no secret that when people can be their true, comfortable, authentic selves, you get the best out of people. And whatever happens down the line, I just hope I've inspired little girls and little boys to dream big and try and achieve the dream that they want to achieve. My name is Nikki Sibian and I am a figure skater and martial artist. I am registered blind, basically means I have very little sight. When I first got diagnosed with my sight condition, my life, as far as I was concerned, was over. I basically started the sports and I found basically a new life. Well, my figure skating competitions, I won the Scottish Championships. I um, won the British Inclusive Skating Championships for my level. Part of my routine, I use my white cane because I'm all about raising awareness of the white cane. With Taekwondo, I couldn't actually tell you all of the medals. I'm um, a qualified personal trainer and I set up a um, business called I'm Possible Fitness. Nothing in life is impossible and that the, the actual word itself is mis printed and it's actually I'm possible. Seeing somebody like myself in a sport, I hope to look for people to sort of go on. If Nikki can do it, I can at least have a go. My name is Jade Knight. Um, I'm a mother first and foremost, then I'm a midwife and I also play rugby for Saracens. I've played football for under 19s, I played for Wales in, in touch rugby as well. And then in rugby I played for sevens for Wales, 15s for Wales, and then obviously premiership for Saracens. I fell into genetics, did that for a long time. It wasn't until I fell pregnant that I found this amazing thing where you're at midwifery. There's a phobia called tocophobia, and it's actually the phobia of being pregnant or giving birth. And that hit me straight away. And I just was very, 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 very fortunate, actually. I was able to get past that. When I was a midwife, um, I used to look after women and I used to think, oh, if you had the same support I had as an athlete, where I had my nutritionist, I had someone to go through for a massage, I had a mental coach, which is a massive one. If I had all this support package just for this lady that I'm looking after, how much better would her journey be? So I'm coming up with a package that's going to be called Birthable, and I've actually come up with basically we've got a life coach on board. I'll be teaching hypnobirth and doing that. The training will be given, the nutrition will be given. It's so, so important that athletes get this support because the research is limited. Clubs, especially in a lot of sports, don't have these support packages right now. There's no reason why a woman can't go, I want to start training, I want to start training in pregnancy. My name is Natalie Morgan and I work in sport. I've done various different projects um, through Welsh Gymnastics. So the first one was a BAME project in the Grangetown community in Cardiff, where I taught lots of um, women from the BAME community and girls and helped them to set up their own gymnastics club within the community. Also, I've worked within disability sport. For me, it's about seeing the girls um, really progressing and having a hobby that they enjoy and that they feel safe um, in order to come to a kind of a safe place every week. It's just creating an environment where they can build memories and friendships to last forever. Really. We've got so many girls and women here um, from coaches to young leaders um, to all the way down to our baby classes. And I see everything they've learned along the way and I don't just mean skills for gymnastics, I just mean everything that they've learned alongside that, um, confidence building, um, friendships, coming to a place where they feel comfortable and they can express themselves. And for me, that is why I've kind of gone into sports. 